Hello, welcome back to the channel. We are solving another puzzle today, and today's puzzle is the Hanayama Vortex puzzle. This is another level six puzzle out of six. We seem to be enjoying the challenge that the level six Hanayamas bring. Today's gonna to be no different. I have a feeling that today's is gonna to be the toughest of the tough. We're three out of three so far. Three puzzles tried, three puzzles solved and put back together. Let's see if we can do the same today. Now this, is very interesting because when you look at the box we are trying to break it up into these three parts and when you look at those three parts you think actually ah, this should just fall straight apart it should be easy you should have no problem solving this whatsoever however i feel this is going to be the toughest puzzle that we've done i feel this is going to be one that frustrates us and i actually think it's going to be harder to put it back together than it is to actually get it apart now part of that is because I feel like it's going to be very, very tough to, to understand how it actually came apart. So, what have we got to play with? Now, it's actually looser, or fairly loose. Um, Movement-wise, feels feels loose but solid. Nothing feels like it's going to slide out of place very easily. So we've got one bit that comes in here and around there. One bit that comes through there and ends up here and one bit that comes around there and ends up here. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Now everything's a lot looser, but it also feels like it's a long way from coming apart. Right, yeah, surely nothing gets through that gap there, surely. Now in the back of my head, I'm also thinking, right, let's just remember how we got back, how we get back to the original position for later on. Again, I'm 100% I'm anticipating it being harder getting it back together than it is to get it apart. So part of me is thinking, right, remember how you got to here. There's no tactics going on here. This is just fling it around, see what comes apart. And that one I can move all the way around there. I feel like getting this bit to here is a good thing because it seems less crowded around there. And can I do this? Can I get all these ends, the quiet ends, to that same position? And that groove there, see how that's indented? Yeah, that bit there. That's got to be the bit that passes through there, sort of thing, isn't it? And I'm guessing they've all got a bit where, yeah, so you've got it's indented in there. And I'm guessing the other bit has the same, a similar sort of groove. And maybe these ridges here that are all around it, maybe we have to sort of get past those step by step, maybe. It'd be interesting to find out whether it comes out like one bit at a time, like you get one bit off and you get the other bit off, or whether you have to have all three in one in a particular place and then they come apart. If that's the case, it'd probably be easier putting it back together. So that must mean this one's separated from these two more than these two have separated from each other. So maybe we need to figure out what we did to get this one separated, sort of this whole bit here figure out what we did to get that and then do the same to get these two apart. I'm guessing we need to get the grooves on each bit lined up. So here, no idea reason why, I'm trying to get this little thing through this hole just by playing around Ooh, with positions and there we go. So now, I feel like we've got all the middle bits, all these smaller rings, unlocked from each other. So now, can we line up the bits that have got the groove, so like in here, on that one, and in here on that one, and somewhere else. Can we somehow get those lined up? Or have we ever used them? Are those bits out now? Let's
Now, at the minute, I'm thinking, right, this is one of the smaller loops and there's nothing locked in that one. This is another small one and there's nothing locked in that one. But this one has oh, both of these now locked in it. So, I'm thinking the next goal is to get this little circle free. Getting the other two free has seemed to, we've seemed to have made progress doing that. So now it's like a case of, I think it's a case of now getting these two out of this hole as well. And yeah, with most things so far, I've no idea how we've done the previous ones. Uh, but we've got there somehow, so let's try the same approach of whatever it was. I don't think there's a name, then and, uh, and see what happens. There, so that's one of them out, and then we use that groove to get that out then. Now hopefully that doesn't mean, yeah, I think that's still progress. So now I'm gonna try and get this one out of this circle as well. And, uh, and we'll see, but there's no grooves on this one. The groove on this one is in here, so maybe we have to put this back into, uh, somehow work around line that groove up there. I feel like we're making progress. Okay, so after about half an hour of trying to get this groove lined up to get it out of this uh, little small circle here, I think I've tried every possible combination, so I don't think it's actually possible I don't think that groove is to get it out of there. I think that is impossible. But what we've also noticed is that there's also a groove on the same one, but up here. So, I'm thinking if we work our way around to get this groove into here, this explanation is going to be tough. This is a very, a very fidgety puzzle. Ah, <laughs> sweet, that, that was very easy. So that, that pops straight in and out from there. So that is exactly what we wanted. So now, we're at the position I was trying to get to, which is all the little circles sort of are free. And now, it could be as simple as just getting the end bits to the end. Now the question is, does one bit come off first and then you can slide the other bit off? Or do all three have to be in exactly the right position and then they all ping open at once? So it's not making much sense at the minute. So I can't see a clear way out just yet. Oh! I think we've just done it. Have we done it? So now we're not all interlinked, we're linked by one. Is that... I can't see which of the which bit slides out of here or here there or there. I can't I can't see a bit thin enough. Oh where was it? Ah oh, so it was just end on end. Right, so end on end. There's an end on end here. It is Ah oh, That feels good. That feels we did it, we got it apart. Oh, that took a while, that took a while. Okay, so before we put it back together, this is probably the best chance we're gonna get to look at each individual piece uh, and sort of explain how it opened. Now, it took me about an hour and a half, two hours to, to actually get it open then. But it, it's the time that it takes to actually understand the puzzle that's, that's the key. 
So what's important about this puzzle is the grooves on each piece and how they sort of relate to each other. Because essentially the grooves are there for like what I think is just one part of the puzzle or one step in the sequence that it takes to open it up. Uh, and as well as the grooves, you've then got these knobbly bits here. And, and again, they're a part of of one section, if you like, or just sort of getting in the way. I'm not sure whether they're a part of uh, keeping it together in certain points so you can't open it earlier, or whether they're a part of actually solving it. The, the grooves definitely play a bigger part in getting it open. Uh, like you've got here, you've got here, you've got... Uh, those are the only two on that one. But they're in different places on each different one as well. So that's essentially how it, it opens, how you get it open. And well, we're gonna have a go at reversing that process and of putting it back together. Now, I think this is gonna be harder, but the benefit is we have the understanding of how it opened as opposed to going in completely blind when we first started. We did it, we managed to solve another one. This one was tough, possibly the toughest one so far. It took about an hour and a half, two hours in total. Had a few breaks as well, so that hour and a half isn't counting the breaks. I found that at some points in there, I kept repeating the same thing or trying the same thing over and over and expecting sort of a different result somehow. So I think Einstein would call me insane for that. So I took a break, came back with some fresh thinking uh, and it worked eventually. Again, it took about three attempts or three sittings, if you like, but it was tough. And the length of time that it took sort of gave me that understanding of how it actually opened, using the grooves, using the knobbly bits in the middle. Uh, that actually helped in putting it back together. I said at the start that I think it might be harder to put it back together than it would be to take apart. That wasn't quite the case because of how long it took us to take it apart. If it had taken, if it had been the quicker solution, then it had probably been twice as long to take it apart. Because we took our time, because we understood how it opened and why it opened, it made it easier putting it back together. So there we go. Four puzzles tried, four puzzles solved. This one was definitely the toughest one so far. If you want to see the other three, one of these ones, then links to their video will be around the screen somewhere in a second. If you liked the video, please like the video. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. We'll be solving another one next week. And I look forward to seeing you then. Peace.